J the Type 90 is a third-generation MBT of Japan ground self-defense ground forces, developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and designed as replacement for the obsolete Type 61s and portion of Type 74 tanks. The Type 74 came late. It entered service in mid-1970s at that time Russia was deploying T-64s and T-72 tanks in the region which were overpowered in both armor and firepower. So development of the Type 90 tank was initiated in 1977 as to counter Russian armor and it was finally accepted for service in 1990. The Type 90 is smaller than most of the Western main battle tanks and it is also the lighter one, although it's look like the German Leopard 2A4 as it was designed with a distinctive low-slung turret with boxy vertical sides and a long overhanging bustle, but it is shorter in height, width and it weighs only 50 tons, 8 tons lighter than than the Leopard 2. The Type 90 has an all-welded hull and turret. The tank uses modular ceramic composite armor. This modular composite armor design facilitates the upgrading and exchange of the armor and its frontal armor is tested to be effective against its own 120mm APF SDS projectiles. So the armor has the capability of stopping kinetic energy penetrators up to 540mm and heat shells up to 650mm. Visible features include Rheinmetall's L44 120mm smoothbore cannon, which is licensed produced by Japan Steel Works Limited. A 12.7mm heavy machine gun mounted on top of the roof, coaxial 7.62mm machine gun on the right side of main gun and four smoke grenade dischargers mounted on each side. The gun fires a PFSDS round with a penetration of 650 mm of RHA at 2 km and high explosive anti-tank multi-purpose rounds. It's a good penetration for the modern tank but not that good as Leopard 2A7 or M1A2 Abrams, as they uses Rheinmetall's L55 gun version which is longer than the L44 results in giving more muzzle velocity. One of the distinctive feature of Type 90 is its conveyor belt type autoloader, permitting a three-man crew. At that time autoloader was an unusual feature. Only Soviet tanks were fitted with automatic ammunition loading systems while manual loading is preferred on contemporary Western tanks. However autoloaders of the Cold War era Soviet main battle tanks had one common problem, the trigger detonation of onboard ammunition when tank is hit. Japanese designers addressed this problem by relocating the autoloader in the turret bustle with blowout panels, magazine of the Type 90 tank holds 20 rounds, stored in the turret bustle that are ready to fire. The rest of ammunition is stored in front of the hull. The gun has to be depressed to zero degrees to be loaded after each shot. One of the advantages of this tank is its high rounds per minute rate of fire, as its autoloader can reload the shell in 2 seconds and the practical auto-loading and firing cycle for one target is around 4 to 6 seconds, so it can easily fire 12 to 15 rounds a minute. Innovative technology includes a thermal and night vision sights for both the commander and the gunner. Night vision range finders are integrated into fire control systems and the FCS also has an automated tracking system, and is capable of engaging moving or stationary targets while moving in day or night. Fire control system of the Type 90 is reportedly more advanced than those used on the French Leclerc, German Leopard 2A5 and American M1A2 Abrams. Computerized fire control system for the Type 90 was developed by Mitsubishi. At the time it was one of the most advanced fire control systems in the world. Most importantly it has hunter-killer engagement capability, which enables to engage multiple targets rapidly. This feature was new at the time when this tank was introduced. Mobility of Type 90 is quite impressive as it highly suits the Japan's terrain. It is equipped with Mitsubishi 10ZG 32WT 10-cylinder two-stroke cycle diesel engine providing 1500 horsepower at 2400 rpm, and coupled with an automatic transmission giving it a top speed of 70 km per hour. It has a power-to-weight ratio of 30 horsepower per ton with a range of 400 km. The hydro-pneumatic suspension units are mounted on the front and rear pair of road wheels, which can be adjusted on the fly to deal with uneven terrain.
In the end we can say that Type 90 is a good all-rounder tank it was mainly manufactured for, with the firepower resembling with the Western tanks, but major problem is that it is 12 tons heavier than its predecessor Type 74 tank, which made Type 90 more challenging to operate in many Japan's tough areas. Further, any upgrade to armor cannot be carried out as it will result in the increase in weight. This is the reason why the new Type 10 is designed 10 ton lighter than Type 90 and it will supplement Type 90 soon. Another issue is the cost which is almost 8 to 9 million dollars per piece much higher than the western tank of the same generation, as a result Japanese army only procured 340 Type 90s units instead of original requirement of 600.